Hey everybody, it's Adam, live and in person for you. Hey everybody, it's Adam, wonder who he'll interview. Call me Adam.com. Hey guys, it's Call Me Adam, and we are here live at the Living on Love press event in New York City at the Empire Hotel. Living on Love is a new Broadway comedy written by two-time Tony Award winner Joe DiPietro, directed by three-time Tony Award winner Kathleen Marshall, and features an all-star lineup cast featuring four-time Grammy Award winner and world-renowned opera star Renee Fleming, who's making her Broadway debut. We have two-time Emmy Award nominee Anna Klumski, Tony Award nominee Douglas Sills, and everyone's favorite movie star, Jerry O'Connell. We're going to be talking with all of them to find out about this great show, so stay tuned. And we are here with Jerry O'Connell, the one and only. The one and only? The one and only. I'm sorry, what do I call you? Adam. So what do I, I call you? You call me Adam. Okay. I'll call you Jerry. Okay. You call me Adam. Okay. How am I going to remember to call you? I love Call Me Adam. That's fantastic. Thank I you. I appreciate that. You're a three-time Tony Award winning director. First of all, what made you want to direct Living on Love? You know how when you have a great gift that you know people are going to love, mm -hmm. and then as soon as they open it, they're going to go, oh my God. Yes. I feel that way about this play. I feel like this play is like this wonderful gift that when I can't wait to get it in front of an audience because I know we have something that's going to surprise and delight them. What has been the best part so far about working with this cast and working with Kathleen Marshall mm -hmm. and having everyone bring this work to life? Yeah. It is a truly inspired cast of lunatics. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's always been really fun. And Kathleen Marshall's work is as always precise and funny and also you know Kathleen also not only brings the funny but she brings real heart to her show so I think these are uh, some of the over the top characters you're going to actually wind up really caring about and having a great time with. And what has been the best part so far about working with this extremely talented cast and with Joe DiPietro? And uh, the best part is we laugh every day. Yeah. I mean, it's just, besides the, the fact that Joe's uh, script is so funny, I mean, there are lines that I've heard dozens and dozens of times and still make me laugh every time. Um, but also, it's just a great group because we just, we actually, we laugh so much, we often have to sort of pull it together to actually get rehearsing. <laughs> hey guys, it's Call Me Adam, and we are here with one of the littler stars of uh, Living on Love, Trixie. Hi Trixie, how are you? We're very excited to have her here and you have to come see Living on Love on Broadway to see her in this amazing show. What do you hope audiences come away with after seeing the show? I think there's so much drama right now in the world and in on Broadway, literally, <laughs> dramas on Broadway and there's not a lot of comedies on Broadway and this is one that's fresh and new and exciting and it's gonna, you're gonna leave just smiling and humming and laughing. And who doesn't need that in a night out in the theater right now, you know? I yeah, do. That is true. Yes, we all love to laugh and just escape Absolutely. whatever we're going through. I just think they're going to walk out laughing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, it builds to this kind of crescendo. Their cheeks be hurting from laughing so much. <laughs> that's what I hope. That's the one, that's um, a common theme I have heard so far <laughs> oh, today. Yeah? Yes, oh, good. Yes. <laughs> uh, it really is very funny. But also, I think they'll, you know, they'll, they'll recognize something about relationships mm -hmm. because it ends up without giving anything away, it ends up being about different kinds of love. It, it ends up about, uh, being about newfound love, about long-term love, and about love that's almost lost, that's rekindled. I want them to feel light and, um, and uh, smiley. Mm -hmm. I think they will love us. They will, we're, we're crazy but adorable mm -hmm. in the show. They will laugh so hard. Mm -hmm. I think they will tell their friends that if they really want a great time, they should come and see this show. It's a funny, sharp play. I think the rewrites are incredible. Mm, how do you feel your vision as a director? How do you feel that lined up? You know what's great is that because this is my first um, play that I'm directing, uh -huh. but because it has so many musical elements to it, I mean, it's about mm -hmm. an Italian symphony conduct conductor and an opera diva, so it's about the world of music. Mm -hmm. And we use music throughout the play. You know, they're not only in transitions, but in other ways, and in sort of surprising ways, I think, and in sort of comic ways a lot. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's kind of a natural transition because it's it, it has elements of movement and music to it, even though it's a play. What made you want to be part of Living on Love? Um, you know, at first, uh, just the mere mention of La Diva Renee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, that's what I call her. <laughs> it's not often you get to work with someone and say, La, La Diva, no. good morning, La, La Diva. <laughs> Why wouldn't you do this? Are you kidding me? I know. Oh my God, a new play, a new American play, mm -hmm. a new American play, a comedy in New York, and you get to do it out of town first? I mean. 
doesn't get any better. It doesn't. It's incredible. And it's easy to play off of Doug. He's mm. just, he brings so much energy. He's just such a fun, he's such a fun actor. He's just easy to play off of. And what do you identify most with about your character, Vito he, D'Angelo? He's well hung. <laughs> no. Um, so he's not well hung? I haven't decided. Okay. I, I'm, we're still creating the character. Okay. Some days I do it and he's not well hung, and okay. other days I do it and he's very well. She is the center of attention, that she's extremely difficult and demanding, and I, I don't know why, huge narcissist, I don't know why they <laughs> thought of me for this role. I, I mean, I really think Living on Love is, uh, is, a, is a really magical night. I think people are going to really enjoy what the play is. Thanks for watching. For more Call Me Adam, visit callmeadam.com or follow me on Twitter at callmeadamnyc or facebook.com slash callmeadamnyc.